Josh, I'm the principal of North Hagerstown High School, and I'd like to welcome the class of 2025. I'm going to introduce two groups of people that are very important. Uh, start off with my administrative team. Mr. Adam Robinson will be the assistant principal for the ninth grade. Mr. Daryl Hurst will be the assistant principal for the 10th grade. Dr. Kara Burhans will be the assistant principal for the 11th grade. And Mr. Daryl Marriott will be the assistant principal for the 12th grade. The second group of people that are very important is a school counseling department. I'll go in order from 9th to 12th grade. Ms. Kathleen Eck will be the counselor for 9th grade next year. Mr. Christian Palmer will be with the 10th grade. Ms. Karen Folk will be with the 11th grade. And Mr. Jack Guest will be with the 12th grade. Currently, Mr. Robinson and Ms. Eck are finishing up with this year's senior class. Um, so the one thing that I always remind everyone is uh, we, we want to be accessible. We want to help with answering any important questions that you have, uh, especially throughout the summer. But right now, Ms. Eck and Mr. Robinson are very busy with trying to tie up loose ends for the seniors, finish them out, get them completed for the end of the year. We know there's questions about scheduling and things like that. Um, if you could hold those questions and emails until the last week of June, first week of July, we will definitely get in contact with you. We will answer as many questions as we possibly can after that. But they have lots of things to tie up even after graduation, um, including, you know, sending final transcripts, letters, things like that. So please, if you could just hold all those uh, emails uh, until, until the last week of June, first week of July, I would truly appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Katie Eck and I'm currently the 12th grade counselor at North High. Uh, once my seniors graduate here in June, I will go back and become the 9th grade counselor and follow the class of 2025 uh, for their four years at North Hagerstown High School. The first thing I'm going to review with you are the credits that are required for graduation. As you can see on the slide, we have it broken down by English, Social Studies, Math, and Science. So there are four English credits required for graduation, three social studies, and they're listed there as U.S. Studies, Government, and World History. Four math courses are required for graduation, Algebra 1, Geometry, and then two additional math courses, depending on your student's sequencing for math. There are three science credits required for graduation. One of them has to be Biology, and then two additional sciences, again, depending on sequencing. On this slide, you can see there's also a link to our digital program of studies. So if you have questions about the content for these courses, you can click on that link for the digital program of studies and be able to look up each course individually. In addition to the core course requirements for English, math, social studies, and science, you'll see there are also specific courses required outside of the core course curriculum. Um, Students must have one credit of fine art. We have multiple options for fine arts. We have chorus, we have guitar lab, piano lab, rhythm lab, drama, uh, band and orchestra. Students must have one credit of foundations of technology. If your student is currently in foundations of technology at their middle school and they pass that course, uh, they will receive the high school credit for foundations of technology. Now, this does not apply if your student is in Tech Ed 8. It is only specifically for Foundations of Technology or Intro to Engineering and Design. In addition to that, they must have one credit of Physical Education and one credit of Health and Life Skills. On top of that, they must have six elective credits, which gets them to their total of 24 credits required for graduation. Now, those six elective credits can be any other course that they take in high school and pass. Um, so there are tons of different elective options for students at the high school level. A big, big thing to remember is that promotion is part of earning credits in high school. So in order to go from ninth to 10th grade, students must at least earn, earn at least four credits for graduation. So if they only pass three credits, they will be retained in the ninth grade again. In order to go from 10th to 11th grade, students must earn at least 10 credits. And from junior to senior year, they must earn at least 16. So it is super important that every student comes in ready to go the first day of their ninth grade year because every single class matters towards that credit count for graduation. 
Aside from the 24 credits re required for graduation, there are also a few other components students must complete in order to graduate from high school in four years. Uh, the first one is graduating with a completer program. So we have multiple completer programs and the purpose of a completer is for students to take a group of courses in high school that we hope prepare them for whatever they may want to do after high school. So the completer options are listed on this slide. Uh, the first one is the University System of Maryland completer. Now I tell students all the time that this does not mean you attend the University of Maryland. It means you're prepared to go to college. So the key with the University Systems of Maryland completer is students must take two credits of the same foreign language and we offer Spanish, German, and French at North High. And they must also take Algebra 2. If your student is currently in Spanish, French, or German at their middle school and is passing their course, they will come to the high school with a level one foreign language credit. In addition to the University Systems of Maryland Completer, we also have several career technology education programs at North. Um, they're listed on the slide. We have child care guidance and management, food and beverage management, interactive media production, audiovisual communication and broadcast technologies, which is a new program that we began this year, hospitality and tourism, computer science, and career research and development. Uh, these CTE programs are typically started in the student's sophomore year, so they will have plenty of time to explore what, what is part of each program um, and make a choice that best fits them if they're interested in partaking in our CTE education. In addition to the CTE programs, we also have one academy program at North High, and that's our Academy of Teaching Professions. So we have 24 credits. We have at least one completer program required for graduation. The next step is our student service learning requirement. Student service learning or SSL, um, students must have 75 hours of SSL in order to graduate from high school. Uh, listed on the slide, you can see that if your student has completed the curriculum for student service learning in sixth, seventh and eighth grade, they will automatically come to North High with 45 SSL hours. Once they complete their health and life skills class with us, they will get an additional 15 SSL hours for a total of 60 built in to the courses that they take, which means that they only have to do 15 SSL hours on, out on their own. The key with SSL hours is they must be done at a nonprofit agency um, and they must be turned in in the calendar year that the student has completed them. Now, your students will be eligible to begin earning SSL hours outside of their school day once they complete eighth grade. So this summer, if your student is involved with any kind of nonprofit agencies, please start documenting them because they will count towards the high school requirement as soon as eighth grade is complete. Four credits, one completer, 75 student service learning hours, and the last requirement for graduation are the state assessments. Um, so the high school assessments and MCAP assessments are for government, Algebra 1, English 10, and the MESA science exam, which covers life science curriculum. So those four assessments your students will take once they complete the courses at the high school level. If your student is currently in Algebra 1, they will take some form of the Algebra 1 MCAP assessment this year um, that will meet their graduation requirement. So if your student is in Algebra 1, Please make sure that they're taking that assessment very seriously and details will be coming out from your middle school um, as far as how that assessment is going to take place. The next slide talks about college and career readiness indicators um, or CCR. So college and career readiness in indicators take place in both English and math and they're listed on the slide. So the expectation for students is that they meet the, the college and career readiness standards in one or more areas. Um, the goal is that every student, no matter what they want to do when they leave high school, is prepared and ready to be able to tackle that. Next on our list are a few guest speakers to talk about the academies and magnet programs that we have at North High. You will hear from Mr. Mooney about our AVID program. You'll hear from Mr. Downs about our IB career related program. Mr. Jackson about our IB diploma program, and then Mr. Robinson, who will be the ninth grade assistant principal, will discuss our teaching academy program. Good evening, my name is Kevin Mooney. I'm the AVID 
coordinator here at North Hagerstown High School. Thank you for coming out first and foremost. I know things can be kind of crazy. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the AVID program. AVID is a four-year program. It is a class, an elective. It is not an after-school program, and it is designed to help students uh, have the skills and processes and take a challenging schedule so that four years from now they can go to the four-year college of their choice. AVID, as, as a program, targets students who are in the historically, academically underserved middle. Uh, it also targets and helps students who might be first-generation college students, so it is it focuses on college knowledge. 40% of the class is a, a tutorial, which is students helping other students with there are questions and problems that they have in classes. Uh, some of the some of the, the class as we go toward junior and senior year, we focus on the FAFSA form, we focus on college essays, college applications, all that good stuff. Uh, my name again is Kevin Mooney. I look forward to hearing from anybody who has any questions about AVID. We'll be interviewing students virtually and in person uh, next month, me and Mr. Swartz, the AVID teacher. To end, I would like to read a couple of testimonials from our students here at AVID and how AVID has helped them throughout this uh, unprecedented time. Thanks to AVID, I've been taking notes in my classes every day. These notes have made it much easier to get good grades and do well in all my classes. The tutorials are helpful since I can get student feedback and student help that benefits me to work on my grades. All right, bunch of pages. AVID has helped me stay organized during distance learning. AVID during the pandemic has allowed me to figure things out. Whether it's deciding what college I want to go to or even deciding what career path I want to take, AVID has allowed me to look at both the pros and cons of both academic and real world situations and to acknowledge these with a different approach. So very proud of these kids. I love the program. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for coming out. Good evening, everyone. My name is Chris Downs. I'm the IB Career Related Program Coordinator here at North Hagerstown High School. I wanted to take a few moments to explain the IB Career Related Program and give you some things that you might want to consider if you are interested in some IB classes. Uh, the IBCP is an international baccalaureate program that is paired with our career related studies here at North Hagerstown High. As of now, the pathways that we offer are hospitality and tourism, computer science, the Teaching Academy of Maryland, food and beverage management, interactive media production, and audiovisual communications and broadcast technologies. The IBCP is a two year program that our students here complete with several requirements that have to be met. You have to finish your career related study over the course of two years. Some of our kids actually begin that in their sophomore year, though. Uh, must take at least three IB classes. And one of those is currently IB English, which is done over two years, so that our students have plenty of time uh, to test in that particular class their senior year. The other two courses are uh, the student's choice. So they should have something to do with their career-related study, but again, that's not something that has to happen. For a student to be successful in earning the CP, they have to receive a score of three or higher on two of those three IB exams. So we've had some very good success with that, and we haven't had an example of a student not getting a three and that being the reason that they don't complete the program. There is an IB core that has separate requirements along with it, and that includes a personal and professional skills course that is housed that houses the other requirements of the CP, which are service learning, language development, and the reflective project, which is the culminating feature of the career related program, much like the extended essay is in the diploma program that we offer here. We do request that students meet with us to go over their plans and see if the CP is the right fit for them. If you all have questions about the career related program, you can certainly email me. Again, my name is Chris Downs. Uh, you can also ask to talk to me at the school or set up a virtual or uh, in-person meeting when they are able to continue. So thanks for listening. Again, welcome to North High, and I look forward to talking with you guys. Have a good evening. Good evening. My name is Kevin Jackson. I am the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Coordinator at North Hagerstown High School. 
the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program is a freshman college experience for the last two years of high school. Therefore, it's very difficult. However, the reward is that students are ready for any academic challenges the university has for them during their freshman year. Students are usually are accepted into the IB program as incoming freshmen. There's an application process that's already been completed. However, if you were interested in the International Baccalaureate program, please inform your counselor and your counselor and I will then track your progress through your freshman year. And if we deem that you, your progress is sufficient for the IB program, we will invite you to join as a sophomore. Thank you for it and have a nice evening. Hi, I'm Mr. Robinson. I'm the assistant principal who's going to be working with freshmen. Um, I have seniors this year, and I'm going to talk to you about the next couple slides. Uh, the first one is the Academy of Teaching. Uh, Ms. Kelly is our teacher for this program, and if you're interested in making teaching a career, it's a great program to get into as, a, as, a, as an educator and a teacher. Um, you know, I can't say enough about the program, and you know, if, if you're called to do that, uh, kudos to you. I saw on Twitter... Uh, week or two ago, teaching is the profession that creates all others. Um, so I can't say enough about the program that uh, Ms. Kelly and Ms. Bachman have, have uh, created. Uh, we have an actual pre-K class that is in the high school, and students who get into this program have an opportunity to learn from our little hubs and with our little hubs in this environment. Um, there's also opportunities to do internships at uh, nearby middle schools and elementary schools. Um, so. If you're, you're interested in teaching, it's a great program to get into. The next slide I have for you is the high school format. Um, and, you know, we typically have year-long classes, so the lion's share of your academics uh, will be year-long. Um, math, science, social studies, English, world language, they're all year-long classes, uh, as well as band, chorus, and orchestra. We do have semesterized classes, um, and they are uh, they include several graduation requirements like um, your fine art, FOT, PE. Uh, we have several of our completers, um, our completer programs. The courses for them are semesterized as well, um, along with uh, computer programming classes that are semesterized. Next slide is grades and. Probably the most important piece of advice that I can give you um, is start strong. Uh, don't don't come in and slack off. Um, you know the clock starts ticking, and all of the classes that you take are going to be important for for your graduation. Uh, and if you're interested in going to college, your your GPA starts with your your first uh, semester, your first first year of school. So. Um, I have seniors this year who, who did, weren't able to get into the, their first or second choice uh, because their grades weren't what they could be, and their grades weren't what they could be because they didn't start their freshman year strong. You know, um, sophomore, junior, senior year, they they got it, but um, it, the, the GPA kind of kind of hurt them because they they didn't take it seriously and they, they didn't work real hard. So, starts right away. Um, I encourage you to to come in and start strong. Um, you know, sixty percent or higher is passing. Um, we want you to shoot for higher than that. Um, for our year-long classes, there's four marking periods. For a semesterized, there's two. Um, your, your parents will be able to access parent view um, a week after the marking period ends. Um, and if you're interested in playing sports or any extracurricular activities, um, you need to make sure you're academically eligible. you got to keep your grades up. The next slide is the... Chromebooks. Uh, we are a one-to-one -one Chromebook school, um, so everybody gets a Chromebook and a charging cord. Um, we encourage you to take your uh, charging cords home and find a place to plug your Chromebook in every night. Um, if you do that, you, you, you won't have any issues uh, with staying charged the next day. If you do, there's, there's, you know, there's opportunities to charge your device, but um, leave your I encourage you to leave your cord at home. Um, if you lose it or if it's stolen, uh, it is an obligation. Uh, it's a fifty dollars obligation, so you don't want to you, you don't want to lose it. Uh, you don't want to leave it sitting around for somebody to take because because they will. Um, 
there's an insurance uh, fee that you can you can access at myschoolbucks.com. It's fifteen dollars for insurance, uh, and if something happens to your Chromebook, um, if it's lost or broken or stolen, um, it's the difference between paying fifty dollars or paying um, you know five hundred dollars. So we'll collect Chromebooks at the end of the year, um, and if you don't have your Chromebook or your charging cord, it's an obligation. And uh, you know teachers use the Chromebooks. Uh, for Google Classroom, um, so you're going to use them a lot, and, you know, especially, you know, this past year we've used them a lot with virtually, but um, when you're in school, uh, teachers will have you using them, so it's good talking at you, um, look forward to meeting you guys. Welcome to North Hagerstown High School, I'm your athletic director, Dan Cunningham. At North Hagerstown High School, we offer three sports seasons. The fall season, which begins August 11th, entertains football, boys and girls soccer, cross country, volleyball, golf, and unified tennis. The winter season, which begins November 15th, involves boys and girls basketball, wrestling, indoor track, and unified bocce. And our spring season, which starts March 1st, has baseball, softball, tennis, track and field, unified track, and boys and girls lacrosse. In order to participate in athletics, your son or daughter will need an up-to-date physical and completed WCS paperwork packet. That information can be found in the Google Classrooms, on our social media, and our websites. Eligibility for incoming freshmen is very simple. You're all eligible until the end of the first marking period. If you're failing two or more classes at a time, you will be removed from the team. And based upon your grades at the midterm of the second semester, or second marking period, I should say, will deem your eligibility. You must be passing all classes at midterm to become eligible once again. At North Hagerstown High School, we are looking for current Athletic Booster members. The Athletic Boosters support our athletic program. They buy little things to support the programs, including our huddle software system, our camera system, which we have indoor and outdoor, which allows us to live stream events. All athletic updates we post on social media and our website. If you want up-to-date information on our schedules, you may go to www.WashingtonCountyCMC.org. You will find the very up-to-date, up-to-the-minute schedules for North Hagerstown High School. I look forward to working with each and every one of you, and I encourage you to play as many sports as you can your four years here at North Hagerstown High School. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing you. Hello folks, my name is Jessica Maynard. I'm the band director here at North Hagerstone High School. I'm going to share with you the opportunities we have available for the performing arts here at North High. As stated earlier, you need a minimum of one credit in the fine arts as a graduation requirement. Our freshman performing groups include general chorus with Mrs. Hollis, concert orchestra with Mrs. Gleason, and concert band with me. We have uh, advanced groups available for upperclassmen, including the Honors Orchestra, the Wind Ensemble, and Advanced Chorus. All of our performing ensembles have a concert participation requirement. Students who participate in the ensemble classes may also audition for all county, all state, university honor ensembles, and so an ensemble festival. Once students are juniors and seniors, we also have the IB Music course available during their scheduled ensemble classes. Additionally, we have our general classes in drama, piano, guitar, and rhythm. Extracurricular opportunities um, include the marching band, the jazz band, indoor percussion ensemble, indoor color guard, electric string on orchestra, honor string quartet, the spring musical, and chamber choir. The music department also travels extensively, including recent trips to Orlando, Florida, New York City, Philadelphia, and hopefully we'll be able to plan a trip to Orlando next year. We have one of the most active music departments in the county. We have amazing camaraderie between the orchestra, the band, and the chorus students, and some of our favorite events include those all-county ensembles, winter and spring concerts, attending Maryland Symphony concerts, and traveling to competitions. Being involved in any activity during your high school career is rewarding and will make your high school experience more enjoyable. Recently I polled my students about what their number one high school memory is and without hesitation they told me that it's the friendships they've made and making music together. So get involved, have fun, and have a great high school experience. If you have any questions, 
please feel free to reach out to me via email. Have a great evening. We want to thank everyone for uh, watching this kind of unusual transition for us. It's a YouTube video. There are some final important pieces of information. Uh, we'd like you to follow us on social media for all of our updates. Uh, Twitter at Hubs NHHS. You can also like us on Facebook at Hubs NHHS. Also, we have some athletic live streams that we utilize. The Hub Arena is for all of our indoor athletics and Mike Callis Stadium Outdoor Athletics Band, things like that. And then you can also refer to our website uh, to get information as well. Any questions uh, after watching this video? This is a reminder that on March 10th from 5 to 6 p.m., we will have some Zoom links that will be open so that you can speak with a counselor or an administrator. Again, if you have any questions, there are Zoom links posted in the Class of 2025 Google Classroom. Most students have already joined in that uh, in those classrooms, but if they haven't, you can go to Google, go up to the waffle, choose Classroom, and then they're going to put in the join code of 3TGLUXL. Uh, they can also look in their Google Classrooms from middle school. We've included that information there. The Zooms are there as well. So, again, finally, we want to welcome the class of 2025 to the Hub family. Thank you, and have a great evening.